Well, with the change of seasons always comes uh, an interview with uh, two of our favorites around here that uh, we've been uh, talking about, the Taconic Learning Center, for a long, long time, and that is Tom Grunwald and Larry Rand. Tom and Larry, welcome back, because we're heading into another semester for the Taconic Learning Center. I thank you, Marshall. Good to talk with you. Yes, indeed. Agreed. And we are headed right into our fall semester. And what's interesting is uh, when the pandemic came about, um, I think it was probably a convenient way for the uh, Taconic Learning Center uh, to, to, to bring in Zoom and for people to get comfortable with Zoom. And uh, that's still, of course, what you're going to be doing this fall, right? That's correct. Uh, we um, uh, regret that we're not able to offer three of the courses that were scheduled, um, one of them being Tom's course on Stephen Sondheim, um, because um, either of those three courses uh, require uh, in-person um, or the instructors um, prefer to have it that way. But So that means that we have six courses that we are offering on Zoom. I'm very disappointed that I can't do my Sondheim class, but it has so much uh, uh, audio and video, and uh, our, uh, our um, what can I say? Well, we are not... We're not able to upload, yeah. <laughs> and that's the problem. We can't, uh, we can't coordinate the uploading uh, of the material with the downloading of the Zoom. Yeah. And there's no point in doing that class without really hearing and seeing uh, material that uh, that's out there, but <clears throat> our... Uh, our, uh, what can I say, the Comcast isn't serving us very well. I was going to say, uh, you, you need super high speeds to do that, uh, and it's not available in all locations around here. So, well, uh, you know, so be that. But let's, so let's take a look at, uh, at some of the sessions that are out there. Who wants to lead the way here? Um, Tom, you want to start with sure. the, the Virginia Wolf? Right. Um, Linda Nyberg is doing another class, and she is certainly ambitious. She's doing 10 sessions, two hours each, on uh, Virginia Woolf. Her life, Virginia Woolf's life as a novelist, as an essayist, as a modernist, as a feminist, and a pacifist. And uh, a lot of us know a lot of, about uh, Virginia Woolf, and we have seen uh, videos and films of material that has been broadcast. But um, this is really going into Virginia Woolf in depth. And I'm sure it's not just women who are going to be interested in it. So that's, um, that's um, the course that's going to be offered on Mondays at uh, 10 in the morning. And um, I will be offering, once again, my uh, course on the Supreme Court, which I have renamed now the Barrett Court <laughs> uh, because uh, the appointment of uh, uh, Justice Amy Coney Barrett uh, seems to have um, changed the balance on the court. And a review of the various cases that uh, I'll be examining um, shows that uh, there's a very, been a very strong conservative trend over the uh, past term of the court. And uh, so we'll be looking at uh, voter restriction laws, uh, the Affordable Care Act. Uh, we'll be looking at union access to workers at the place of work. We'll be looking at uh, jury unanimity and whether that is retroactive, a rec retroactive requirement. Um, the foster parent program and um, whether religious groups uh, can um, exercise uh, special privileges through their First Amendment uh, religion exercise uh, privilege. Um, and there are other cases um, that will show that the court moved in a very definite conservative um, pattern this past term. 
It should be interesting, and I bet you get some offshoots. Uh, <laughs> you, I bet you could probably get some offshoot discussions uh, because uh, the Supreme Court now is a topic that just about everybody uh, can get in and weigh in on it, whether they know uh, the Supreme Court or not. It's just a, it's one of those hot button issues again nowadays. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll move from the Supreme Court and. Uh, as a kid, one of my most fun things that I that I learned about in school uh, was uh, the Lewis and Clark expedition. And you've got a, a course on Lewis and Clark and their America. Yeah, um, Robert Rumsey is uh, doing um, eight sessions, two hours each, with uh, a PowerPoint presentation, so that we can uh, deal with with our broadband or lack of our narrow band um, illustrating the the uh, details of uh, that journey and it gets very complicated because uh, the Spanish and the British were not happy with the enlargement of US territory and he had to deal with uh, they had to deal with uh, indigenous peoples in the new territory uh, Long there are long term uh, payoffs and uh, problems that uh, are still with us. Oh yeah, if, I, it, it, it's, if you really look into the the Lewis and Clark expedition, uh, you could spend a whole year on it. <laughs> uh, basically, from what I remember it in school, and I think what's great about it, it also brings to light once again some years later that. Uh, how you can apply it to to what we do today uh it's it's pretty interesting now your next the next one uh i didn't know what to think about it stuck in the middle with you well let me <laughs> let me put it this way for those of you uh who have uh seen any of the episodes of uh, Frankie and Gracie on the TV series. You've always started with uh, the song Clowns to the Left of Me, Jokers to the Right. Yeah. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. Well, <laughs> uh, Jerry Jammin has chosen that uh, as a theme song for uh, a very interesting course that he's offering. And I'm going to just read a little bit here because I cannot possibly... Um, match his language here. He says, uh, we're in a country uh, living deeply divided by extremist partisans unwilling to agree on basic facts and devoid of common sense. Many of us have the unsettling feeling that more than half of the country and its politicians are way below average. Fortunately, our class fails all our aspirational metrics for diversity, so your instructor is confident that he won't tell you anything you don't already know. We will try to hold the middle ground so we can expect flack from all sides. So what he's doing is he's covering uh, what he describes as the year from hell, namely March of 2020 through, really, through right now, and examining how uh, the pandemic and uh, various other um, items have affected the lives and aspirations and lots more of Americans. We are speaking once again with uh, Tom Grunwald and Larry Rand, Taconic Learning Center, into their fall session, just looking at some of the courses, uh, taconiclearningcenter.org. Uh, once this interview is over, once again, we'll post it, and we have direct links uh, to all the information that you need. Uh, now, you know, it, it has been uh, uh, literally a year from hell. So people have used it for uh, in a lot of different ways. Uh, your next topic is you – know, these topics are – are signs of the time, and yet uh, you can roll back through American history and see them. And that's evangelism in America, blessing or bane. Yeah, and uh, Richard Wright Snyder. No, he's, uh, I, I think I'm right, Larry, that he is uh, a retired minister, correct? He is indeed. He also majored in in his undergraduate years in history. So he has a combination of a deep uh, theological uh, knowledge together with uh, knowledge of and interest in history. Yeah, and he, he says that this class 
will in essence be a survey of American religion through the lens of evangelism. Major attention will be given to major developments in the last half century and the movement's current connection with conservative causes. Now, I don't think he's going to be taking sides here. He's just being going to reveal that since a third of Americans consider themselves evangelical, uh, what what is what does that mean exactly? Well, that can that can become a, a very interesting. Uh, 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 debatable topic uh, and, uh, as you go along as you take a look at evangelism and how it really has changed over the past I'll say especially 8 to 10 years we'll wrap things up with uh, Shakespeare, how can you go along with uh, a course uh, on Shakespeare well Bob Rumsey has um, for some years he's now taken over the play reading um, function and uh, so uh, he this coming term will be uh, leading a reading and discussion of uh, three of Shakespeare's problem plays. Uh, so he says that they will take an unflinching look at the Merchant of Venice, Othello, and Titus Adronicus. Titus, Titus Adronicus, excuse me. He says, uh, anti-Semitism and racism rear their ugly heads here, and we'll try to understand what the consequences might be if we convict Shakespeare of these horrors, or not. Yeah. Well, you know, once again, uh, just sitting here over the past 10 minutes, listening to the uh, different variety of courses that are being offered uh, once again for this semester at the Deconic Learning Center, let's go over the nuts and bolts for people once again uh, on how they register and uh, when the classes, uh, you know, start and, and, and things like that for a moment. Well, they can register online. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, TLC and WC um, are... Um, uh, Harding Bancroft, our treasurer, will send you a link uh, which you can use to get into the classes. Uh, so that's the way. Now you can also, once again, I say go to RobinHoodRadio.com, click on uh, On Demand, click on the interview section. And in this interview, you will find the different links that you can just click on uh, also to make it a little easier. Well, once again, it sounds like it's a great fall session. And who knows, maybe by the winter session, maybe you might even we might even get people getting together again. Well, I we hope certainly so. hope so. I've got my material for the Sondheim class. Uh Ready to go again. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking forward to that, and um, were it not for the fact that the uh, Delta variant has caused a spike in cases uh, in Connecticut and throughout the country, uh, we would have opted for in-person classes, but... Um, we want to make sure everybody's safe. Discretion is the better part of valor. I think it's a wise move. Well, guys, uh, have a great uh, fall session, and obviously I'll be speaking to you again in another couple of months about the next session. Marshall, thank you, thank you, you ever much, so much. Marshall. All right. Uh, that is the Taconic Learning Center, taconiclearningcenter.org. Uh, more information on the web.